I'm very honored to receive this award. It's um, amazing to get an award in the name of uh, um, someone as distinguished as Zeldovich. And if I could ever be a tenth the astronomer he was, I'd be amazingly happy with what I've managed to get done in life. It's uh, been a truly wonderful journey working on the exploration and understanding of the outer solar system and the small bodies that tell us about its formation and history. And I particularly want to thank in this uh, um, my uh, uh, graduate advisors, uh, uh, Paul Francis, Brian Schmidt at the Australian National University, Mike Brown at Caltech, and my amazing and supportive postdoctoral mentors, uh, JJ Cavalars, Brett Gladman, Jean-Marc Petit, and uh, Alan Fitzsimmons at Queen's University Belfast, who have supported and mentored and helped me grow into being the scientist who I am today. It's been wonderful and a privilege to work with the amazing teams of the Outer Solar System Origin Survey and the Colours of the Outer Solar System Origin Survey. Fraser, uh, Wes Fraser, uh, um, Meg Schwam, Rosemary Pike, Mike Alexanderson, Yingtang Chen, Stephen Gwynn, uh, Sam Lawler, so many more on Ossus and Colossus. You folks have been wonderful and amazing to work with. And it's been remarkable to grow from that into working with the folks at Queen's University Belfast through the PanStars group and come into working on interstellar objects and find a whole new set of people to work with. And I want to particularly shout out to this, um, the work with the Colors of Ossus team and uh, um, the amazing work the Gemini observers did at Gemini North and the uh, um, International Space Science Institute team on Oumuamua, who were a pleasure to work with. And particularly, uh, um, thank you to Suzanne Falsner, who, with whom uh, we've managed to build a uh, amazing collaboration. It's been amazing to work with the Outer Solar System Origins Survey on the Canada France Hawaii Telescope. And it was amazing to work with the supportive and encouraging team from the Canada France Hawaii Telescope, particularly Tom Bird Ellis, who really helped piece together a complex and challenging observational program and uh, enable us to be able to observe this. And I also greatly appreciate the opportunity to be able to um, observe and work with data from uh, the sacred mountain Mauna Kea. That data has enabled us to be able to piece together the story of how the outer solar system formed and came to be and some little progression further in our understanding of the history of our own solar system and seeing the orbits of newly discovered worlds in the outer solar system start to come together over weeks and months as we continue to observe them was just wonderful. To go from that to then working on characterizing the first interstellar object, Oumuamua, uh, with the folks from the Colors of Ossus team and uh, the International Space Science Institute team and the uh, folks at Queen's University Belfast, to, to get to observe and characterize uh, the first small body that's come from another planetary system somewhere across the galaxy, it's an opportunity I never dreamed of. So as a young uh, scientist, COSPAR has been the framework that has enabled a lot of things that you simply never think about until you suddenly realize this is one of the things that international cooperation makes possible. Things like planetary protection protocols for being able to send spacecraft to explore our solar system. These are the kinds of things that need international agreement and need institutions like COSPAR to help create. And the longevity of COSPAR has helped build that incredible track record of success of peaceful and productive international cooperation in exploring our solar system and um, the universe around us. I'm delighted uh, that New Zealand is now a member of COSPAR and uh, look forward to working um, as a member of the New Zealand Committee uh, with COSPAR further. And I think COSPAR is the kind of environment that we need for the challenges that our new industrialization of space is starting to bring. The understanding of the near-Earth environment and the space environment as a place of industrial activity. This is the kind of thing that COSPAR can help create 
a peaceful and environmentally responsible um, advocacy for. This is the kind of thing that I think where COSPA can really flourish. I think this is an exciting field to work in, and I think this is something where only you can know what kind of science or engineering it is that you want to accomplish, and you can make it happen. If you see a gap in the field and you go, my skill set, that, that's a question that my skill set would be able to answer, or you go, why isn't anyone paying attention to that? That's your opportunity. That's where you can actually shape the field to be the way that you want to see it. And if this is making the field a better place in the sense of which communities become part of it, or the sense of which missions get accomplished, or which challenges it is that we're facing and which ones we need to be addressing, this is your moment. We are at a point where the exploration of the near-Earth environment and of our solar system is happening at a rate that is more glorious and amazing than ever before. And how we make that happen is going to be up to you. As new faculty at the University of Canterbury, I'm really looking forward to mentoring and growing the planetary community here in New Zealand and the space community generally here in Aotearoa. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do in terms of more international partnerships uh, with uh, different space agencies around the world and different planetary missions as those start to become a reality. I think this is a really opportune and exciting time for New Zealand and the Pacific to start to think about what role we can play in the exploration of the solar system. Personally, I'm excited to start thinking about the role of interstellar objects in the cycle of planet formation and evolution across the galaxy. I'm really excited to see how many more interstellar objects we'll be able to discover as things like the Vera Rubin Observatory start to come online in Chile in 2023, and the depth to which, with which we can survey the sky uh, goes up several, order, several magnitudes, allowing us to map the whole southern sky every three nights. And those kind of interstellar objects are potential opportunities for missions like Comet Interceptor, which the European Space Agency and JAXA will be uh, flying to be able to visit a dynamically new comet or interstellar object coming from the outer solar system. So we're not just finding these new worlds and characterizing them from our ground and space-based telescopes, we're going to visit them up close. And I think this is a truly exciting time to be starting to think about how our planetary system links in with the formation and evolution of other planetary systems across the galaxy, where we fit into this larger picture. I'm delighted to be joined on this uh, um, adventure with teams like being able to work with the Comet Interceptor folks, um, starting to think about questions like New Zealand's role in planetary defence, and uh, uh, being able to think about questions like how we enhance and bring a flourishing place to the role of Mataranga Māori, the uh, um, indigenous knowledge of New Zealand and the Pacific about how we understand the world in a scientific way. And I think this is something where we have a real opportunity to grow the, um, the Māori colleagues that we have among us and be able to bring them into a leading role in how we understand and explore the solar system. I'd very much like to thank on a personal level um, my husband Michael Jason Smith who has uh, joined me on a journey around the world as we've gone from country to country on grad school and postdocs over the year and the support of uh, my parents and my parents-in-law through all of these um, times and tribulations where we've spent Michael and I have spent over a decade um, traveling the world learning about science and now being able to be back here in New Zealand to help grow the community here thank you it's an honor to receive this award and I'm really looking forward to working with more of the Coast Bar community.